Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're starting off by this thing, um, which is a car, it looks like. I have no idea how you're supposed to drive this, um, but apparently you're supposed to... Oh, that's... I forgot, because these wheels are powered. Um, so I suppose I should unpower them to take off? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what you're supposed to do with this thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throttle up, and, uh, it's a rocket car. Oh, don't break. Oh. <laughs> I just took off in a freaking car with the freaking rocket on, on the back. That's cool. Alright, so hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're, uh, taking a look at the, um, the Jeb Auto Model A, which is a uh, a car made by uh, D DJ DJY or DYJ. I don't know, um, but as you can see, it is a car that you can fly around. And I'm gonna crash it right now, aren't I? Oh God, don't crash it! Woo, that was pretty close. Oh God, what the hell? Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, why? Is <laughs> That's not good. Okay, okay. This thing is dangerous. Um, also, my volume is very low. Let me let me go take a look at that. Okay, and we're back. It doesn't seem to have improved much, and there's a car making noise outside that I hope you can't hear, but you might be able to hear, but you probably won't be able to hear, because as is the standard with uh, anything to do with YouTube, um, if the person recording thinks you can hear it, you can't. Isn't that how it works? Anyhow. As you can see, this uh, this rocket car takes advantage of clippiness on all these wings and all these control surfaces all over the place. It uses these new structural parts. It uses the wheels, of course. It um, it actually, as much as I hate clippiness and I really hate this like for clippiness, it does look pretty cool, especially from this angle, from like right up front. It looks really freaking awesome, and it looks like a proper like car. And then, oh, by the way, it's got a rocket in the back, and oh, by the way, you can fly it. I mean, that's just freaking awesome, don't you think? That's just, also, it's uh, using, as you can see, these RTGs on the back here. Those are what's powering the engines, which brings me to an interesting point to make real fast. Um, KSP 0.19, some things that, uh, that I learned. Um, the girders that we had before... They, uh, oh god, don't crash! No, don't crash! Woo! There we go. This car is magic. Seriously. This car runs on magic. Uh, the girders have, they've reduced the weight on the girders, and, um, the RTGs have less power, they, they produce less power, and they're lighter, but I believe overall they've actually been made more overpowered instead of less overpowered, so I'm not so happy about that. I just noticed we have this thing up front. Let me, let me click on it. No, not. There we go. Click. There we go. Cool. We got the little uh, antenna thing on the front. Yeah. Um, so let's see. The girders have been made lighter, which I disagree with also because they were. Now they're like. O overpowered more than they already were. Because I mean, you know how girders are like invincible. So now they're still just as invincible and they're lighter. Um, also, the giant solar panel array. Uh, got made heavier and produces less power, I heard. Uh, so it's actually better to place the smaller panels now than the big one uh, because of this nerf. Also this thing, I have a feeling due to the uh, glitchiness of the control surfaces that you could fly this car indefinitely, couldn't you? Because I've just been kind of flying around and I bet I could just be like, you know, start rapidly tapping WASD, or rather W and uh, S. Oh god, pull up! Pull up! Eh. We didn't need those. Whatever we broke. Let's see, some random panels, control surfaces. Wow, this thing will not stop. Wow. Oh, we lost the wheels. See, up until we lost the wheels, I was just going to get out and reinflate them if I even could. If, if... Oh! Hey, this glitch has happened to me now. I'm actually kind of excited by that because it shows that it's a real thing. But, um... Basically, I've seen this glitch happen to two people now, some random person who posted it on Reddit and also now and my friend Tiamo. But basically, um, when using wheels, every once in a while you'll have a, a vehicle that just decides it doesn't want to obey the laws of physics anymore and it'll start just rotating 
and rotating and rotating and rotating and rotating, in this case breaking off a ton of parts in the process. And I have no idea how to fix this, but yeah, um, it's a thing that happens. Alright, so this time we're just going to, uh, whoops, I forgot to engage it. Oh god, stop going backwards! Um, let's see, okay, I engaged the engine, I turned it up to full throttle, and we're gonna go space now. Well, we're not gonna go space because we can't, but I'm gonna see how high I can take this thing, and how fast I can get it. Which isn't gonna be very high or very fast, because as you can see, our intake is kinda just like on the front there, and... Jeez, I made the tiniest movements, and that intake just like almost loses all power. We're gonna like start randomly sparking out and stuff. It's gonna be weird. I just wish we had cockpit in turn... Uh, what? Oh, I thought I thought that was the other cockpit, but it's actually the one with the internals. So we can see sort of from within the car. It looks kind of ridiculous, of course, but we can see from in here. Oh, and I didn't put out the thingy again. So let's, uh, let's stop admiring the interior and rapidly attempt to click this tiny little thing. Oh, I clicked it and then missed it. There we go. Now to space in a flying car. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. Come on, give me a good angle. Give me a good angle to take a screenshot with. Eh. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just taking screenshots randomly. Oh! Uh, only in KSP. Rocket cars that randomly flame out. Actually, I suppose in real life, if you had a rocket car somehow and flew up, that you could make it flame out. Oh god! Uh, I love the sound effects, don't you? Oh, we're out of fuel. <laughs> oh shit, we're out of fuel. Uh, let's try and make it back to land now. That's interesting. Kind of forgot about that we would have a limited amount of... Wait a second. The resources still says we have fuel. Alright. I see, we've used three tanks in the back, but we got one in the front. So let's see if we can... Oh god. Come on, controls, stop it. Let me, let me see the tanks in the back. Is that one of them? No? Let me... Oh, I can't really get access to them, so I guess we're not doing that. Now, the interesting thing to uh, see here would be if we could actually make it back to the KSC uh, with no power. Um, just, you know, gliding on our magic car. Which I'm going to try to do now. I have noticed while driving this flying car that it's uh, it does like to tilt to the left on its own. I've had to correct for that several times, which is kind of annoying. And uh, I think once we land, we'll drive it back to the runway. Oh, the runway's like really close. Hmm. Maybe I can land it on the runway. I don't know. I kind of want to try, but at the same time, I'm kind of afraid I won't. Oh god, oh god, this camera view is crazy and it's confusing me and I'm gonna crash. Okay, no I didn't. I almost did though. Oh hey look, there's the runway. Which is what I was trying to get uh, in my sights, but I couldn't. And now I'm going to fail at going down. 
Come on, just uh, glide ever so slowly downwards and now up and now try to go downwards. Oh god. Oh! Ah! Uh oh. I think it's doing the rolling thing again. Uh, I would say based on the amount of rolling. Maybe if I turn that off, that'll help? I doubt it. Based on the amount of rolling it's doing. Let's see, I think it stopped. So I'm going to try to. Um, would this key roll me over? No. Would that one? No. Uh, do I have to turn on SAS so I can use the capsule SAS? Do I have to get out and push? Hatch is, hatch is obstructed. Cannot exit. Lovely. Brilliant. Maybe if I roll it hard enough this way, it'll roll over. What? Oh yeah, because these have oxidizer and fuel. For a moment, I was very confused as to why they still had fuel in them. Yeah, so we have doomed this mission. Congratulations. We also can't even get out to fix the wheels, even if we could roll it over. Yeah, anyhow, that was the uh, the Jeb Auto Model A. Yeah, cool. Check it out. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.